just the juiciest grilled fish recipe you would definitely want to try at home for your family or for any gathering keep watching this video because i'll be showing you how i make this juicy and delicious tasty grilled fish How's it going everybody? It's Cooking with Claudie here and welcome back to my channel. On today's menu, I have this juicy grilled or oven roasted fish here. It's so, so good. The aroma is mouth watering. Well, this recipe I'm using just fresh ingredients mixed with powder ingredients. I have another recipe which I use just powder ingredients. But today I'm showing you a different way of how I marinate my fish to give you a treat to your taste. But, well, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you don't miss out when I post any of my videos. So let's jump into the ingredients. I'll be using three large fish which has been perfectly gutted, scaled and washed. For the fresh ingredients, we have some green onions, onions, garlic, ginger, bell pepper and parsley. And for the dry ingredients here, we have black pepper, oregano, paprika, salt and maggi. You can check the description box. It has all the detailed recipe and in the description box, I reduced the recipe to one fish that's if you case you want to make just one fish i reduce the recipe for that so just slice out all the fresh ingredients and blend them Transfer the blended ingredients into a bowl and add at least one cup of cooking oil. Here I'm using olive oil. Add all the dry ingredients or the powder ingredients and stir. I'm going to start by drying off the fish perfectly with a tissue here. Then secondly, I'll make slits with a very sharp knife on the fish. The slits are just to make the spices penetrate perfectly inside the fish to give you that tasty fish. Thank you. 
rub the spices on the fish on both sides of the slit like in between the slits they should go all the way deep inside the slit then after you can use your fingers to massage the spices I'll just cover the fish now and let it marinate for at least one hour. You can put it in the fridge or you can maybe leave it outside to room temperature to marinate for at least one hour. After one hour, the fish has been perfectly marinated. Right now, I'm just going to add more of the marinade on it. Like throughout the grilling process, you just keep adding the marinade on the fish. Just keep adding and adding and adding. Also, what I usually do to give me that crispy fish, I just use like oil spray and spray on top of the fish. If you don't have oil spray, do not bother. Just use any cooking oil you have and sprinkle on top of the fish. For the remaining marinade here, I'm just going to marinate it for like five to six minutes. Or if you don't have a microwave, you can just put on the fire and stir and keep stirring for like five minutes until it is perfectly cooked the reason you're cooking it is because you will have to use it to rub on the fish during grilling the fish and after grilling the fish you don't want to use raw spices to grill after the fish or when the fish is almost grilled so the fish now goes to the oven i'm just going to grill it at 380 degrees fahrenheit about 15 minutes each side While it's grilling, just keep adding the microwave to all the cooked remaining spices on it to give it that moist or juiciness. Right now, everything looks perfectly good and grilled. I'm just going to rub on the microwave spices on it to give you that moist fish. This is how it looks after microwave, the oil just comes to the top. It really looks good. You should definitely try out this recipe for your family or for any gathering. You can use maybe french fries, dodo, fried plantain. Some people even use bread. You can use bobolo, you can use miyondo, like a side. Then for the dip, you can use any pepper sauce. For the pepper sauce, I usually use for my recipes. You can find the link in the description box. I'm going to drop it there. Or you can use ketchup. Some people like eating it with mayo. So for the veggies, you can mix up onion with maybe green pepper or some parsley. Some people have different, different, different ways on how they like to enjoy grilled fish. For me, this is how I like to enjoy mine. My perfect site is dodo or miyondo. You can definitely 
have it with fries as well. So everyone, we've come to the end of this video right now. I have to leave you guys now because I have to feast on this meal. Thank you so much for watching. If you get to like this video, please give a thumbs up. I have another red snapper video. You can definitely check in the description box. You would definitely love it as well. Bye-bye.